DJI just released a new firmware for the Mini 2 version 1.03.0000. And yep, it's a big one. For any of you out there who have a DJI smart controller or have been wanting to get one for your Mini 2, well, you will be happy to know this release now supports that controller. I think that's a pretty awesome addition, especially if it's something you already own. DJI has also optimized gimbal FPV mode to improve the flying experience. Now, I only tried the FPV mode once with my Mini 2. I didn't find anything too exciting about it and I never used it again, but perhaps with this update, the feature deserves another look. Now, one of the most important fixes in this release, in my opinion, is that DJI is now saying that they have optimized the auto discharge process for the Mini 2's batteries. This I think is a very big deal because up until now, the Mini 2 batteries were not auto discharging if they were left stored in the drone or the charging hub. That's a problem because lithium polymer batteries do not like being stored for a long period of time, either fully charged or depleted. It can affect the long-term health or even permanently damage the batteries. So the fact that DJI has apparently fixed this issue with a software update is very good news. Now, when you go to upgrade your aircraft firmware, the battery currently in your drone will also get updated. If you have more than one battery, be sure to cycle through all your Mini 2 batteries so they all receive the updated firmware. And hey, if the battery fix works, I guess no more elastic bands on your charging hub, right? Anyhow, the final items in this firmware release are improved flight stability and a greatly reduced quantity of compass calibration prompts. So really just good news all around and a pretty nice update for the Mini 2. Oh, and one last thing guys, I did update the firmware on my Mini 2 and I did do some test flights and I did not encounter any issues. I will definitely be doing some more testing, especially with the battery discharge issue and will keep you guys posted if I find any major problems. And that's it for this one guys. I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on the new firmware. And as always, thanks so much for watching and yeah, you guessed it, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.